Hey everyone, welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. So for this tutorial, um, I just wanted to do show you guys a really quick uh, tool that I use um, to scale my 3D models. Um, I use this because uh, no matter where you position your 3D models, your characters will be uh, scaled proportional to each other no matter uh, what perspective you use or, or what angle you use uh, when you're creating a scene. So I'm going to use this website here that compares heights. Um, I'll leave the link to this website in the description down below. So if you guys want to mess with this and create your own models, you can do so. Uh, it allows you to do um, compare multiple figures. But for this example, um, I'm going to be comparing two uh, figures. So, but I'm going to have a third figure uh, as a base. So figure one is going to be my base. Uh, so that's going to be a six foot tall uh, male. And uh, that's going to be my Clip Studio Paint 3D model at 100% scale factor. So figure two and figure three will be different heights. And in fact, I'm going to use Spider-Man. Uh, and according to Marvel's website, he is 5 foot 10 inches. So for figure 2, I have 5 foot 10 inches. And figure 3, I will use um, the Incredible Hulk. And according to Marvel, um, the uh, Green Savage Hulk is around 7 foot 8 inches. So I have 7 foot 8 inches. Uh, now the next thing that I want to do is take... Uh, a screenshot of the this uh, picture here if you're on a Mac it's alt um, or command shift 4 and then you can drag a square uh, anywhere you want and you can uh, take that screenshot So now I'm going to open up Clip Studio Paint and uh, I just have a, a canvas here opened up. It doesn't matter what size. Uh, so I'm going to import that screenshot that I took of the figures. So here's a screenshot of the figures. And what I'm going to do, I just uh, scaled it up a little bit so it's, it's nice and big. But what I'm going to try and do is uh, position the first figure which is going to be my base. I'm going to uh, put them right in the center, as, uh, as center as possible. And now I'm going to uh, drop in a 3D model of a uh, male. And there you have it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is... Uh, manipulate the camera um, you can see that um, the 3d model is uh, has a, a, a grid for the floor and what I'm going to try and do is uh, flatten the floor as much as possible so um, there is a slight difference between uh, this 3d model and the figure uh, the 3d model obviously is in a perspective uh, kind of view because you can kind of see underneath his chin uh, because there is a vanishing point so there is perspective uh, when using the 3d model whereas the figure is more flat uh, two-dimensional but uh, that uh, will not matter too much um, as we're just using this to get a ballpark figure of the scaling so what I'm doing now is just moving uh, the camera around um, to try and flatten the ground as much as possible and also uh, matching it to the the feet of our figure one now remember you don't want to change the scale of this 3d model because 100 percent is our base and we're saying that 100% scale is a 6 foot tall male. So once you get it to where you uh, feel comfortable or to something 
that you like then you'll have a good starting point so I'm just gonna lower this guy's arms uh, I, you don't have to but uh, because the only thing we're really uh, measuring here is uh, from head to toe not really the length of his arms but just want to get these arms out of the way they're kind of bugging me either way okay so there we have the 3d model uh, set up perfectly it matches the figure so uh, you can come over here where it says 3d models um, and uh, hit that little plus sign and and you can see the scale factor is 100 so now uh, what you want to do now is uh, you don't want to move the 3d model you want to leave it there but what you want to do is move the picture so I'm gonna hold down shift and drag the picture to the uh, to the left and holding down shift will uh, will lock the uh, the dragging to a a left uh, vertical um, drag so it won't it won't shift up and down so now I'm gonna lower the opacity of my 3d model just so I can see um, so you can see there uh, we need to scale down a little bit so I'm gonna click the 3d model again um, well before I do that let me write this down let me write down um, so a six foot zero inches is a 100% scale factor and my other heights are 511 for um, for spider-man and then it's uh, seven seven foot eight inches for the uh, Incredible Hulk and so those are the two uh, scale factors that I need to determine. So we're going to go back to the 3D model and um, mess with the scale factor. Now you see, you don't have to move the 3D model at all. It's, we just move the, the drawing of the figures. And so I put in about 97% and I like that. It matches up so I'm gonna write that down so a 5 foot 11 inch person um, we're looking at a 97% uh, scale factor and so we're going to do the same thing for the uh, figure 3 which is the Incredible Hulk okay why is this not coming up okay there we go so I'm gonna hold shift down again and then drag the picture to the left until the feet are uh, in the same position okay all right so we got a bit of scaling to do so let me try uh, go back to the 3d model layer and to the scale f uh, object scale and let's try uh, 120 uh, too short so 130 so 130 looks about right so I'm gonna say 130 is a 7 foot 8 inch person and so you can do this for multiple uh, height um, so that way um, when you create these uh, different scales um, you can write them down in a table and that way whenever you want to uh, create uh, characters with different heights um, you can scale your models um, um, proportionately and that way when you create a scene um, and you're using something like perspective and you place your models in different locations they will always be scaled um, proportional to each other you don't have to guess uh, which one's uh, bigger or which one's smaller or any of that you can you'll always have um, 
your uh, your table there to tell you. Um, so, like, if you have a you want to make a drawing of Spider-Man versus the Incredible Hulk, and but they're kind of uh, far away from each other, um, you you know how big to draw the Hulk. Like, if he's off in the distance, and you know how big to draw Spider-Man, and they will be uh, proportional. So, um, I've already done this for several um, heights of uh, characters. So let me find the table that I've created. You can either uh, do this process by yourself uh, for specific heights or you can just uh, pause the video and uh, write down these uh, scale factors that I created. Um, I basically just went from 5 foot and then I went uh, 5 inches uh, halfway in between you know each of the to the uh, to the height. So, Five foot, five foot five, six foot, six foot five, seven, seven foot five, and then eight foot. I didn't go any higher than eight foot. So here, seven inch, seven foot eight inches is close to to eight foot. Uh, so one thirty, and my table says one thirty three. So it's there in the ballpark. Um, so not we're not too far off. Um, so five foot eleven inches is close to six foot, and uh, I'm saying. Uh, that was a uh, 97% so they're not that far off um, also the uh, let's say you want something in between um, so let's say you want something like uh, six foot uh, three inches uh, you can kind of guesstimate uh, what what uh, what scale factors in between because six foot three is in between uh, six foot and six foot five inches so you can kind of guess you can uh, maybe a hundred and two percent or a hundred and three percent it it really doesn't matter that much it's uh, you're talking about very small uh, numbers there um, so I'll leave that up to you guys to uh, to guess as to um, do that but uh, once you finish uh, creating the table like I said uh, whenever you set up uh, your scene with uh, 3d models you can then um, apply the scale factors for each of the characters and so you'll know that they will be scaled uh, proportionally to each other's different heights so I hope this uh, little tip uh, helps out um, hit uh, the like button if you liked it and uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one